Okay, so we're going to be doing a furnace AC replacement. Uh, we're set up for high efficiency. Um, house is on a concrete slab, so everything's inside a closet. It's a 30 inch wide closet. Um, it's good, good height. So we're going to take everything out and um, put everything back together. The one thing that might be easier is to, um, is to keep that return drop in place. Um, you know, just based on the space. You know, taking it out and getting another one in. You know, maybe more trouble than it's worth. But um, one thing I'm going to recommend is we, our new furnace is going to be a little bit uh, shorter, so we can come back with a base. So I'm going to make a note, uh, probably an 18-inch base, and then we can come back with the um, smaller media filter, the uh, 16 media filter, and put it around uh, horizontal. Uh, as far as the, you can see the shut off for the gas is there. Uh, line set, line set's actually running up, and it's running through the um, ceiling space. It's roughly about a 12 foot run. You can see the back of the house to where I am. It's for about 12, 15. By the time we get down, probably need about 20, 30 feet of um, line set. customer said that he's pretty certain that there is a leak in the line set so um, we're going to replace it to get in um, there's a access um, and a bedroom which is in the front of the house just a uh, right in the front so we'll get in through there access to get in and out um, is through this door here and you can see our closets like just adjacent in this hallway you can see on the drain, it's uh, running PVC, um, and it's actually sitting on a, a pan. So just got a measure of that pan there. Okie dokie, Abby So that's it. Uh, thermostat is uh, close by, and it's a uh, newer one, so I'll be keeping that. That's it.